So one of the things that confused me the most when I started with Neovim, because maybe because I started with NVChat or whatever, is that there is two ways, apparently, to um, organize packages, what is sometimes sometimes called a plugin, what is sometimes called a module. So for example, when I go into the command line and type lazy, I get a menu where I can install and update stuff. When I go into the command line and type meson, I get a menu where I can install and update stuff. Right? And as a beginner, I have no idea what I'm doing and what, what, what I see here and why I need both and why I see different things here than I see on the other side. And today, we're going to clarify that and really get clear about what is the difference between Mason and Lazy and how does command integration work in the oven. So in order to understand how command integration works in Neovim, we have to understand that there's a command line, right, where I can, with a colon bang, just type in stuff that I would type into my terminal, right? Like ls gives me the list of files in current directory, and I have the same result when I go here and type in ls in my terminal, right? It's the exact same thing. So the other way to do that is through Lua. So now I can go and say Lua vim fn system, and then I can pass in the command that I would run in my terminal, right? Like, like so. But it doesn't do anything because we have to actually say where we want to see the output, right? So we have to put all, all the stuff right here oopsies, into the print method, right? So I go print. Yes. And now I see it. Right, so these are the basic two ways to interact with the command line from Neovim, okay? And since here we have a Lua, Lua command, I could now go and technically and put this into a mapping. So this is how command line integration works in Neovim. And to give you a more sophisticated example, more in-depth understanding of what's happening and how to actually, how amazing that is that we have this, we will build a little plugin that takes the input from a user into a shell script, and then we take the output from the shell script into a floating window near them. So we have the full circle, taking user input, giving it to a CLI, getting the output from the CLI, and uh, displaying it in near them. So we, we have the full circle then, okay? So let's start. I already have the script right here. It's called echo input.sh, and it's really very, very simple. Right? It's a bash script and takes the user input and it echoes the same input as an output later, right? Okay, so that is our CLI tool right here. The next one you're gonna do is we go into the article, and go into the plugin section, and we create a little showcase Lua. Right? A Neovim plugin is nothing more than a Lua file. So, I'm gonna take this one, we go to our Neovim configuration, Lua, custom plugins, and right here we go and at the showcase Lua, boom, take the code, copy. And now the code is actually not that hard to understand. We have the get visual selection, which gets the visual selection. This one would be the visual selection, right? I highlight something in the visual mode, doop -de -doop -de -doo. And now what we want to have is when I highlight something, I want to pass this into the CLI and then let the CLI do something. And then later when it's done, I want to get the output into a floating window. Floating window, for example, would be something like this, right? That would be a floating window. In this case, it's a terminal. I want to see the output there. So this is what get visual selection does. Shell escape does some escaping. Also, we are escaping some line breaks and, and stuff like that. So not too important right here. The next part that is actually important and fun is this part. This line right here, line 31 in the script, loads or says that we want to use this uh, this bash file right here. Again, this is just an example. That's why the code is ugly. It's really just, just for demonstration purposes. You can put here any CLI, whatever you want to use. So we have the input echo. We have the echo input of this H. And we let it do something. And then we take the output, put the output into a buffer. And then with that buffer, we load that buffer into a floating window. That is basically what the, what the whole thing is doing, right? So last thing, of course, we have to go to the init Lua and require, oopsies, custom, custom plugins showcase. 
So now everything is in place. We have our script that we have our CLI tool. We have our NeoVim plugin. And we load the NeoVim plugin in the init loader, okay? So now, I'm gonna close NeoVim. And I open it again. I expect when I highlight some sort of text and I hit my my key map for the for that exact plugin, that I see a floating window in NeoVim that outputs me readme. And there we go. Yeah. So to go back to the point, what is the difference between lazy vim and Maison is lazy loads us NeoVim plugins. Lazy connects to any Git repository, it doesn't have to be GitHub, and loads the loads and updates NeoVim plugins, Lua files, Lua files into NeoVim. And when I go to Maison, Maison is the other part of the integration. Maison gives us CLI tools, executables, that we then oopsies, that we then run through NeoVim plugin. So, so somehow we have a dependency, a NeoVim Lua dependency on that CLI. Right? This is why we have to have both. Maison is for CLI tools, LazyVim is for Lua plugins, and that is the main difference, okay? So in this video, we covered that through Lua and the command line, you can run anything in NeoVim that you can also run in the terminal. We clarified that Lua is the integration layer that lets us pass information from NeoVim as a parameter into CLI tools that we also run from the terminal. And then later, let us display the output from the CLI tools back in NeoVim. And we clarified that Lazy loads Lua plugins and Mason loads CLI tools that have an interaction with those plugins, right? So I hope that helped. I wish you all a great week. Bye-bye.